Hello, today is June 18th and I've heard from so many of you that you enjoy these videos. So I'm going to keep doing them whether they are related to COVID-19 or not. It's a great way to showcase our departments and the wonderful employees who are here at Silver Cross Hospital. So today I have Carrie Ehlers, Supervisor of CT and Jen Stevenson, X-ray technologist to talk about diagnostic imaging. And I'm gonna pause for one second because Jen and I share something very important and that is we were born on the same day, February 8th. I was born many years before you, however. Not too many. But I, <laughs> anyways, we always acknowledge each other yes, and celebrate do. our birthdays together. So back to diagnostic imaging. It is a critical part of the care team, making it possible to see inside the body, to diagnose disease, injuries, and other ailments. Almost every patient that comes through our emergency department or is admitted to Silver Cross has some kind of imaging study, x-ray, CT, MRI, ultrasound, nuclear med. It's a very busy service. So Carrie, let's start with you. What is your role as a supervisor of CT? Um, we have three scanners here at Silver Cross and I just organize the daily happenings of the CT, ED, um, inpatients, outpatients, biopsies, just getting those done in a safely, timely manner. Yeah. How, how many CTs do you think you do a year? A year. I, we do over 100 a day. 100 a day. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. A lot of scheduling, a lot of mm -hmm. organizing. And how long have you been here at Silver Cross? Uh, about 13 years. Wow. Thank you for mm -hmm. all those years of service. And Jen, how long have you been here? In September will be 20 years because I was a student here for two years and 18 as an employee. Oh my goodness, that's wonderful. Awesome. We have to celebrate your 20 year anniversary. Oh. One of these days we'll <laughs> yeah. have our employee service awards. Um, so what is your day like as an x-ray technologist? X-ray serves uh, the majority of the hospital as it, whether it be ER, inpatients, outpatients, surgery, endoscopy. We do the C-arm and portables in the OR portables on the floor, inpatients come down to the department, and then the busy ER. Okay. So in 20 years, you've seen a lot of changes in imaging. Oh, yes. Like, what do you think is the biggest change? Uh, that we have, like, digital imaging now. We used oh. to have to run films through a processor. Yeah. And fill chemicals. <laughs> yeah. How about you, Carrie? What do you think is one of the biggest um, changes? CT is lower radiation dose each year. This technology gets quicker, faster. It's amazing. It's safer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. Safety is our number one right. priority here. So um, I always hear about PACS. What are PACS? PACS stands for Picture Archive Communication Systems. And anything done in diagnostic imaging is sent to the PACS system so the radiologist can read the images. So the radiologists don't even have to be here. They can read remotely? Yes. Yes, okay. So during COVID, we had to put many safety precautions in place. And you mentioned that you have portable x-ray going into patient rooms. Mm -hmm. So how did you handle that? We did every possible COVID patient, so any PUI or COVID positive patient portably as much as we could. We designated a room in the ER for COVID positive, positive patients if the exam couldn't be done portably. And then we have plenty of PPE protocols set in place of donning and doffing of PPE, cleaning the equipment, and altered our schedules to accommodate the many portables that we had because we pretty much x-rayed every PUI and COVID patient that came to Silver Cross. Wow. Or CT. Yeah. And talk mm -hmm. about CT. I know CT was really important in diagnosing COVID patients. Yeah. And CT, you can immediately see it in the images on the lungs. There's like a ground glass opacity that the radiologist would, you know, dictate in the reports to confirm the COVID. So the CT um, scans were really important because initially it took such a long time to get test results back. It's the CT helped understand if it was COVID positive or not. Right, yes. Yeah, really important. How long does the CT take? Um, it can take around 10 minutes. Oh, it's um, fast. Give or take, it's pretty fast, right? Yeah. So, so, so it's not like an MRI that right, patients no, are Right, MRI under. takes about 45 minutes. Um, CT uses radiation, low radiation. MRI uses a magnet. Okay, so very different. Yeah, they're both cross-sectional anatomy, so you see that, but CT is better for vessels, soft tissue, MRI is really good for muscles, ligaments. Okay, well thanks for clarifying. Mm -hmm. I always get the two mixed up. <laughs> Anyways, anything you'd like to share with your colleagues or to the Silver Cross community, John? That I feel like actually I was well prepared for what we had went into with the pandemic and oh, COVID-19. 
we worked well together as a team to get the patients done safely and efficiently for the radiologists to read the reports so these doctors could have reports on their patients. Yeah, which which is something you do all the time. Yes. Anyway. Yeah. Yes. We worked extra hard though to try and get. You did. You did. How about you, Carrie? Anything um, you want to yeah, say? Yeah, same. Um, CT had uh, great teamwork. Um, everybody did so much to support each other, keep each other safe, get everything done in a timely manner. It was amazing what, what everybody did to come through to get through this. And I'm very grateful to both of you and to your teams. Thank Thanks. you. Mm -hmm.